guys, welcome back to a brand new video where today I will be showing you 15 things that you may not know about Minecraft. Okay, so the first thing that I thought you guys might not know about the game is that you can actually dye tamed dog or tamed wolf collars. You can dye them whatever color. The default is red, however. Uh, but you can dye them any color, and if you want to dye it back to the default, just use rose red. That's all for that, the first thing. The second thing is, normally, you cannot jump over fences or walls, but if you do put a uh, carpet over it, you can jump over the wall, and mobs will not recognize this, so they cannot jump over it like you can. So it's very good for mob-proofing a house. Uh, I just forgot some mossy cobblestone here, but what this is, what I'm going to show here is that mossy cobblestone and cobblestone wall can connect, nether brick doesn't connect to anything, and all other types of wood fences connect to each other. Uh, I didn't have all of them to show because I didn't want to make this too complicated, but s as you can see there, the normal ones does, the normal one does not connect to the wall or the nether brick. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show there. Uh, here, what you will notice is that, oh, just let me switch it to the right settings. Uh, you may not have known this, but it's, I don't know anybody that doesn't know this. You can actually wear the pumpkins, and with the pumpkin, you can stare directly at an enderman and they will ignore you. Typically in survival, if you look at them, they will attack you. And that's usually not very fun. So I'll just show what it's like with the helmet off. It just takes them a few seconds to realize I'm looking at them. Then they come straight for me. And I actually ended up dying. Uh, just let me put it back to the settings I had before. Okay, so the next thing I want to show is the, er, that you can actually get rid of the effects of a potion by drinking milk. So as you see, I'm dying because I just used a potion, or er, poison potion, and I drank the milk and I'm fine. Potion of weakness, I have the effect there, and then I drink the milk, and it's gone. Same thing with potions that are useful to you, uh, th they can also be taken away by drinking, mil drinking milk. Uh, there's my pumpkin again. Okay, just throw all this stuff out. Oh, I gotta go back on creative. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is that you do not actually need the corners in nether portals. You can actually get rid of those and the portal will still work. So you can add a little more decoration there like so. The next thing I want to show you guys is that you can actually build bigger portals. I don't know the exact update update when they added this, but you can build fairly big portals now. I don't know the exact uh, most most dimensions you can have or the least but I do know you can make them bigger now what I'm showing you here is that you cannot actually break blocks while holding a sword in creative it just doesn't let you oops went through the portal so yeah I uh, gotta go back now that's all I have to show for there and the next thing is actually how to dye leather armor uh, this is for Xbox only, possibly PlayStation as well. I didn't know about this myself until I looked into it. But if you take a piece of wool, or well, not wool, dye, and you're wearing armor, leather armor, and you hover over the armor in your hotbar or whatever, and press X with the dye in your cursor, and you're hovering over it, that's how you dye 
items in Xbox slash PS3. Or not PS3, just PlayStation in general. Anyways, the next thing I have here is actually a way you can make upside down mobs. This works with any mob if you rename it or just take the egg and name it Grum with two M's and a capital G. Now what this will do, it will just basically flip the mob upside down and the mobs act the same as they would normally except they're upside down. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I knew you could do this on PC, but I wasn't sure about Xbox, so I decided to try it here, and it worked. So it works with any mob, as far as I know. It's kind of funny you control with your friends like that. And the next thing you can do, you can actually make disco sheep. And the way you do that is take an egg or name tag to rename the sheep to all lowercase jeb and then an underscore after that and what this does is makes disco sheep which are pretty cool you can show off with your friends make a disco floor out of them or something I don't know do what you want with this this is just a fun little thing you can do with uh, sheep in minecraft so enjoy that I'll just let you guys see this. I'm not editing this at all because I, I don't even know how you would do that. <laughs> okay, the next thing I want to show off is that cactuses actually... Well, I'll reword this. If you throw an item at a cactus, it will actually despawn when it hits the cactus. Uh, I don't know why this feature was added, but it's actually it makes the game a little more challenging if you're in a desert and there's lots of cactuses if you're about to die make sure you get away from them because that will happen and you'll lose all of your stuff but anyways the next thing is that in the nether there's actually a bottom to the world of bedrock as well as at the top there's also bedrock and depending on the world size you're playing the uh, walls will also be covered in bedrock depending on how big your world is you may or may not see this ever and the last thing is that you can actually use end ender pearls i think they're called to teleport onto the top of the bedrock and you can also build up here however you cannot destroy things so this is i actually flew a little too high and found a little glitch where if you fly too high in the nether above the bedrock you'll actually get stuck up there so I s spent a long time trying to kill myself and get back down so that's just a quick video on me failing and this is me building my outro here this is uh, just a quick 15 second video I messed up on the S back there but anyways guys thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching that's all I really have to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this with your friends. And I hope to see you in another video.